We are an inner city school in central Manchester. Um, quite a number of our pupils have got English as an additional language. So we've got something like 75 to 80% percent of our children don't speak English as their first language. But actually that's not the picture that we are really interested in for our school. We have got really fabulous, resilient, engaged children and really supportive, aspirational parents. So when we discovered Singapore Maths, it was like a godsend because we were trying elements of it with varying degrees of success, but we didn't have the skills, teachers didn't have the skills, the specialist knowledge or the time to really implement it and to have the impact that we now see. We realised quite quickly, didn't we, that actually it was becoming very successful. It's one thing that still continues to surprise me is how, um, how embedded their learning is. It's good evidence base, you know, and we can see the success ourselves as we go through. So lessons started to look very, very different. And I think once you feel that initial success, it's quite easy to get staff on board to say, gosh, that looks really good. I've been trying to do that for so many years and now it's kind of embedded in that curriculum, so. Get everybody on board with the vision that you have for maths, like anything if you want to be successful in your school, but get staff on board. Be clear that you're going to do it, that it's not, <laughs> this sounds terrible, not that it's not up for negotiation, but actually this is where we're going and these are the reasons why, but make those arguments and, and convince people that it's the right thing to do. You know, when you try something new, it can be it can be tempting for people to say, right, well that's it, let's, let's leave it now, it's obviously not working, but just ply on through, it really does do what it says on the tin, I would say.